Good man, how you doing? Good, good. I'm Clay. Good to see you. Uh, you've generated, I think, the most talk just because of your situation. Can you assure people you're good to go and excited yeah, to play? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to finally get out there. Um, yeah, like 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 it's been going around. I'm 100 percent, 110 percent. If you want to say that, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, this this uh, next month of our official practice is something I've been looking forward to for a really long time. So I'm finally excited to finally go out there and play for the Buckeye Nation. How much was the last uh, season, you know, obviously not being able to get out there? And, you know, did you know the whole year that, that you weren't going to be able to go get back out there? Or, or did you, you know, what was that, that, that whole process like and how hard was that for you mentally? Yeah, I'd say that it was it was one of the toughest things I've had to go through in my career. Just just, just trying to get back into the emotion things coming off of injury. Uh, I tried throughout, throughout the season multiple times just didn't didn't line up right, but uh, the important thing is that I had a good uh, good support system here, a support system at home. It got me it got me through it. What were you kind of able to actually do in terms of like physical therapy and, and you know working on stuff maybe even though you couldn't actually go you know play with it? Right. No, I was able to do a lot, but I just couldn't do. I couldn't perform at, at the elite level I needed to, which is, uh, you know, that's, that's that's what they that's what they expect here. So uh, I have a good medical staff. They took care of me, made sure I was right. And even though it's been a long process, uh, the process is finally over with. Finally ready to finally get, get about to play. In practice and everything, like, do you feel like the same player or even uh, an improved version? I feel I feel better than I felt. Ever. So it's, it's, it's a great feeling to have fun. What's it like to see the makeup of this team? Lost a lot of guys, EJ, Man, Malachi, yeah. but so many young guys, seven freshmen and seven other guys combined that are uh -huh. on. What's this makeup like in the you know, transfer portal guys coming in? Right. Just gelling with everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's different for sure. You know, there's a whole bunch of new faces here, but with that, everyone here has gelled really well together. I think I think the coaching, the coaching staff does a great job with recruiting the right players that fit this type of culture, this, this, uh, this Buckeye culture. And, um, and I'm excited for you guys to meet a lot of them. It's a lot of it's a good group of guys, and they're also really talented. Even, no matter the age, everyone here from top to bottom. How do you build that chemistry without playing in the games together, not having that experience on the court? Yeah, we, we hang out a lot outside of outside of basketball. So I mean, whether we go eat somewhere, we might go bowl, watch a movie. Those those little things they all matter at the end of the day when it comes down to chemistry. And then we play a lot too. So it's all it's, it gives us a good glimpse of how we how we're gonna move. Was this the same injury you were dealing with at the end, the Big Ten tournament and, and March Madness two years ago? Yeah, so it was a it was a lingering injury. Um, Unfortunately, it didn't get better as fast as we thought it would be. But um, yeah, it was it, it continued on from that the end of that. Um, I think that was two years ago, or the end of my, my first year. Yeah. So last going into the that off season, two off seasons, your expectation was you would get back and play last year. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And just the frustration of not being able to get out there, especially as you see this team really kind of come together towards the end of the year, some of those big wins. I mean, what are you thinking when you're sitting on the bench and you're not able to be another guy with this group? Yeah, I mean, it hurt a lot just because of how much I've grown with, with each and every one of my teammates uh, over the past couple of years, knowing that that was going to be my last time kind of being with them. That's, that's what hurt the most, I'd say, mentally. But, um, yeah, just being able to watch those, those those couple games where I'm like, man, if I was out there, I know we'd, we'd, we'd take it. But, you know, unfortunately it didn't happen and, and, and things happen to move on. But I'm, I'm excited to be a part of, uh, you know, this team, Team 124. When you transferred here, did you think you'd still be here in 2022, 23? <laughs> nah, nah, I did not. But everything happens for a reason. I, I put a lot of my faith in God. and. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited for the season. Is it hard to accept that? I, you know, we talk to guys, whether it be injuries or just things not panning out the way they thought, sometimes you've got to accept that. Was it hard for you to accept, okay, I'm here longer than I thought, but this, this is my path? Right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, um, it's a lot of things that, that I'm not able to control. So with things that I can control, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do to the best of my, my ability. So, unfortunately, I got hit with an injury last year. I, I expect myself. I plan on um, on producing and, and you know really uh, bouncing back and showing uh, showing what I can do this year. Was any part of your thought process after the season ended like that you might explore another option or, or turn pro or anything like that, or did you always kind of know that you were going to come back again this year and 
finish things out. Right. No, I mean it was it was really up in the air. I had, I had options of you know transferring, staying, going pro. A lot of a lot of uh, a lot of uh, decisions I had to I had to go through and walk through with my family. But ultimately, I, I couldn't I couldn't see myself transferring to another school. I couldn't I I, I see myself ending my career here as a Buckeye. So wanted to fulfill that and also uh, make a run with this team. What role do you see yourself playing with this group? Because we saw you do a few different roles a couple years ago. How do you fit in with, with this current team? I think we're really early as far as um, roles in general, but for myself, something I've always been, uh, been pretty consistent with is just being able to be a leader out there to these guys, especially a younger group, as well as uh, being able to produce in whichever way we need, whether it's in scoring, defending, you know, making plays. Um, I feel like I have a really good overall game, probably one of the best in the country, so I'm excited to, uh, to see how we, we mesh together and uh, are able to perform.